Well, well, well. If it isn't the Pac-12's hubris showing up again, it looks like that may have actually cost the league about $4 million per team per year in its upcoming TV deal. Details on that in just a moment. Please consider subscribing if you have not here to this channel. We talk college football, college basketball, and conference realignment from a Big 12 point of view here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you know when it is that I'm going live, which is typically twice a week. And you, you can support the channel on Venmo as well. It is john kurtz 4 to do that. We've got a good piece here from Dick Harmon of the Desert News where he basically aggregated some quotes that we've seen recently about the value of BYU to the Big 12's TV deal and the fact that the Pac-12 had a chance to take in BYU but did not and they are missing out on value in their TV contract because of it. I'm sure this one will resonate well with Utah fans. Um, here we go. It starts, I'm, I'm going to cut into the middle of the article here, but it says the Pac-12 presidents passed on adding BYU eons ago and repeated that in 2010 when Texas and Oklahoma turned down invitations that ultimately went to Utah and Colorado. It became very clear the past two decades that the Pac-12 did not want to include a religious institution like BYU, declaring cultural fit and research institution qualifications in its exclusivity decisions. But from a purely athletic and football brand perspective, many experts are now declaring that was a short-sighted move by the Conference of Champions, one that is costing them now. And that is a pretty appropriate way to summarize it. I understand back in 2010, it was a totally different environment. You didn't have this existential fear that the Pac-12 does right now. And so it's not as important to go out of your way, out of your value system, whatever you want to call it, to add a BYU. But I think a lot of the point here has been for so long, the Big 12 was the short-sighted league, viewed as short-sighted, not aggressive enough, too reactive. And now that's become the Pac-12. And that's, that's exactly what we're looking at here. Not progressive enough, not thinking forward enough. Uh, to go grab a BYU, letting the Big 12 do all of this, pounce it, and then also we can tack on not rating the Big 12 in 2021 when Texas and Oklahoma left. That has now become the Pac-12. The Conference of Champions is now the conference of not being progressive enough when it comes to thinking about their structure, the structure of their league, and the Big 12 has certainly benefited from that. The article goes on, for the record, the Pac-12 will never, never, ever invite BYU to be a part of its conference, and it has nothing to do with sports or academics. But a writer for Forbes, a media expert, said BYU is a, quote, money shot. That is a reference to what movie makers consider a scene or moment that makes the production a commercial success. That's one reason an invitation to the Big 12 rings so loud in Provo these days. Pac-12 presidential hubris, however, may now cost the remaining schools millions. It's not just me saying this. It comes from voices from both coasts with no connections to BYU. Uh, and this is this is from Stuart Mandel, all right? The man is quoting Stuart Mandel, and I'd actually missed this until I saw the article in the Desert News. But Stuart Mandel wrote, the one school the Pac-12 could have added any time in the last 40 years that would have created value is BYU. But generation after generation of league presidents made it clear they wanted nothing to do with a church-owned university that's not a research institution, just like they've thumbed their nose at Boise State. Now they're down to the likes of San Diego State and SMU, which would keep their roster at 12, but will not move the needle in terms of interest from media partners. I mean, look, we, we've seen this reported all over the place. Uh, right after the Big 12 added those four teams, one of the first things to come out of that was reporting, I believe, from The Athletic that said TV executives are saying the one school being added here that's like legitimately additive, legitimately adding value to the conference that you pull them in is, U, is BYU, rather. Um, and so th this is something that is not a surprise at all to hear and just see outlined more but when you compare it, like put it against the backdrop of what the Pac-12 is going through right now, I think it's extra poignant. Uh, now the article quotes or talks about Jim Williams, who's a writer for Forbes and a former employee at ESPN. He told three, 365 Sports, shout out to the 365 Sports crew, uh, told them this week that a, rem a remarkable money figure associated with the Big 12. Uh, Williams was asked what stood out about the Big 12 and their expansion and what tactics stood out to get a $31.6 million per team payout. And he said, first off, we have credibility for going out and expanding. And I don't think Bullsby gets enough credit for that one. The money shot was BYU. And the reason the money shot was BYU is back in 2010 when the shift came. And again in 2015 when we started getting people in, I had been involved in some of that both times. ESPN was telling me, you know how much BYU is worth? BYU is probably the difference between 27 to 28 million and 31.6 million per team per year in that contract. So... BYU alone was probably kicked into the $31.6 million per team. So you've seen them go from 27 to 31 million. So that was good on Bullsby. There you basically have it. Laid out in terms by a former employee at ESPN, now somebody with Forbes. The BYU's value was about $4 million per team per year to the league. 
Not only that, BYU has just been excellent partners uh, since coming in here. Cannot say enough about how much the Big 12 should be appreciative of BYU, what they are, and what they're adding to this league. So it is wonderful, wonderful to see that. And maybe a tough dose of reality for some Utah fans here to see what the value actually is uh, of BYU. To close here from the article, it says, if BYU adds approximately $4 million per year, as Williams postulated, that figure would be $240 million over the remaining five years of the contract when there are 12 teams. Texas and Oklahoma will leave the Big 12 uh, after the 2023 season when there will be 14 teams. Without poaching a team from the Big 12 or ACC, the Pac-12 is not going to realize that kind of value in the coming days or weeks when it actually announces expansion or a TV deal. And that's on Pac-12 presidents, not their commissioner, George Klievkov, for generations. All right, so actually taking some heat off of George. Hey, maybe George might actually like this article. This one's not pinning the blame on him here for BYU. He didn't really have much of an option there. When the Big 12 swept up BYU, Pac-12 is not really in a position to be wanting that. So it is tough. It's like, yes, the Pac-12 is much more reactive now than proactive. That would have been a tough move to sell at that point for Kalev Cobb before USC and UCLA had actually left, right? I'm not legitimately blaming him for that. But it is the overall hubris of the conference that we have seen reflected and manifested in multiple ways throughout this entire process that has kept BYU out of the league for a long time and now is going to really hurt them here. Because it's not just that you wouldn't have had the extra money and extra value from BYU in your league, they also would not have been available for the Big 12 as a lifeline when Texas and Oklahoma left. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I suppose. Make sure you're subscribed here on this channel. If you like Big 12 football, you like Big 12 basketball, you like conference realignment, that's what we're talking about here. Subscribe, click the bell. I'm live multiple times a week. The live shows are a blast. And you can also support the channel on Venmo at john kurtz 4 or follow me on Twitter at jlkurtz. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I will talk to you soon.